Now, you would recall that Uzuwan is one of the local governments in Enugu State affected by suspected headsmen attacks. There have in recent times amplified calls for government intervention in dealing with the crisis. In a shocking turn of events last week, indigents of Iga community within Uzuwani reported an arson attack by men in military uniform, as seen in the videos obtained by Afia TV. While the military has since denied involvement in the arson, sources claimed, sources claimed that the incident was linked to an inter-community dispute between Iga and Adani communities within the local government area. With facts and motivation still unclear, we now connect with a guest that will be joining us anony anonymously because of safety and protection concerns. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning, my sister. All right. We'll definitely respect your right to privacy because we do understand that this is a rather sensitive situation we are about to discuss. So could you please walk us through your observation of the events that led to the raising of houses in Iga community last week? Okay. Thank you, my sister. Uh, yes, the event took place at the site called, uh, that site is known as the uh, farm settlement. And that farm settlement, there, it belongs to three communities, Iga, Omati, and the part of Adani, precisely, is my village in Adani. So these are the three, these, these are the three communities that owns the land. And the land has been sold to a company named Ada Rice ever since even before I was born, this, the place was sold to the company. And the company developed that place, and they are using it. And different people live there, not only Iga people. Even other people are living there. Mm -hmm. Omas people are living there. And Suka people are living there. Different people from different areas are living there. Iga and Ada have not seen any land dispute ever before this incident. Because... Iga people are living in Adan. Iga people own land, build house in Adan. Adan and Iga, they have common boundary. They don't have anything like this, the land dispute ever before this particular incident. But it was, unfortunately, uh, on uh, this May, May 3rd, precisely, a group of uh, armed people led by Obi Nayog from Adani, came to Ada Rice, that farm settlement. All right, just for, just and for in clarity, that, before you go ahead, Ada Rice is located yeah. where exactly? Ada Rice is located at Adani, Ega, and Omasi. All right. Called Uzuwan's farm settlement. All right, go ahead. That is located in Uzuwan, local government area of Enugu State. All right, go ahead. So go ahead. You were speaking about how this okay. all came about. Yes. So when Obina Ayogu, with some uh, policemen, hired uh, people, hired security men with uniform, who went to that place, they said that land has been purchased by uh, uh, Obina Ayogu. Then Obina Ayogu is now going there to go and survey the land. So on reaching there, they met the local security men that are there. So Obina and uh, Obina, those people that uh, Obina hired with those local security, they start exchanging words. Along the line, they start fighting. What led to the fight is what I don't know because I was not there. But according to information, after that, they went and start arresting Iga people, seeing that Iga people is causing problem there. They even arrested the Iga traditional ruler with two other men in Iga community. They are now in the police net at the Nugu police station. After that, they, on the second day, they went to the Iga community and started burning house. houses. So many houses, so many property were destroyed. When you say they, Mutu, who do you refer to? When you say they went to Iga community and started burning houses, who are you referring to? I'm referring to at the people that had uh, uh, been hired, because some of them are coming with police uniforms, some of them are coming with uh, military uniforms, so we don't know exactly people that are, that are there, but all okay, we know so that you're, someone, you're like that the last one, they came, they came with armed 
Yeah. The last one they came, we came police armored car, army armored car. So it's like when we did not pay them, he went, they went and were uh, connived with the uh, security operatives and coming to got to burn houses, vehicle, motorcycle, many things. Even uh, uh, some people lost their life on the course of uh, that attack. All right. Uh, let me now come in there. It's 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 a really shocking side because the information that we had earlier from sources they say that Iga community were agitators in a certain inter-community dispute between Iga and Adani, and that Iga community members were angry that people in Adani were housing a Fulani headers. That was the information we had. But now we're looking at. A, a twist of events, I mean, something that we, we didn't even envision was in the picture before, even the Ada rice farm. It's, it's a really interesting, interesting turn. But how involved has the government been in this situation? We understand that the government paid a visit sometime last week. What was that like, and was any intervention of any sort made? Yes. The first day after the, after the, after the attack at the farm settlement, then the second day they came to Iga community. Then I think after the following day, the governor and his entourage visited. And when the governor came, the governor said that let there be no more attack. Let everybody go back to where you are. You understand? But after the visit of the governor, attack continues. The still well, series of attacks continues in Iga community. After, gov after governor might have given directive, still yet the attack continue. So that is why we are surprised whether government is still aware of what is happening in our community. What, what kind of after attacks the continue? Can you be specific about the And still yet attack is still going on. Even as I'm talking to you yesterday, they were still demolishing house at site. They were still demolishing site. Information reaching me this morning that a, a, a guy went to farm to bring cassava from his farm. On the way coming back from the farm, he saw a policeman with a vehicle that are coming. He ran away, leave the motorcycle and the cassava on top of the motorcycle. They came and carried the motorcycle and dropped the cassava on the ground. All right. So, so the, you, you the, are saying the, that when the government the left... Now to keep the boat on the ground, the boat that are living at sight. Wait, let me, let me get something clear, you know, for clarity's sake. Yeah. Who are the people that removed the items from the motorcycle and put them on the ground? Who are the people that you say are perpetrating demolitions? The, the military men. Because all of them are on the military uniform. So when you see anybody on the military uniform, you refer the person as a military person. So, but whether the president is a military or not, we don't know. So you're saying that after the, that, governor's that visit, the after the governor's visit, the, the attacks and agitation still continued. Is that right? Yes. So yes. very, very briefly, because we have less than 30 seconds, what are the nature of these attacks that have continued since the governor's last visit? The nature is burning of houses, demolition of uh, burning of motor, motor, uh, cars, burning of uh, motorcycles, a clean of, a, a clean of animal. domestic animals. Perpetrated by... So these are the attacks. Perpetrated by... Are you saying the men in military... Destroying body houses. Even, 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 even uh, whatever that was put on the uh, inside water. Threw all of them down. Destroying everything. And you're, you're claiming that these are yeah. these are men in military uniform hired by... Yes. By clarity yes. on that. Uh, yes. Men in they military They were coming uniform. with military uniform. Hired by yes, who? Yes. Hired by who? Hired by who? Precisely. He's the, he's the head of the attack. All right. Thank you so much for sharing your views on this program. We'll definitely follow this up and try to gain more clarity from the military and the government as far as they know concerning this, uh, this crisis currently going on in Uzuwani and Iga community specifically. Thank you once more for joining. Okay.